Hey, bud. What? What are we doing? Uh, suspension on a B9S5. <coughs> some springs. I think me and John are just going to dive into it and maybe bring some helpful hints if we can't find anything online and want to share input. But then that, we're probably just going to keep knocking it out. Alrighty, what's up everyone? It's day two of working on the B9. Um, we only had a couple hours on it last night. So this morning, we're going to try and bust it out pretty much all day. It's like 10 o'clock, waiting for John to get here. But I want to show you what we've, how far we've gotten, and then we'll kind of go from there. Sorry it's kind of dim. I just walked in here. These old fluorescent lights don't really work well in the cold, and it's freezing in here right now. So I got the shop heater going. And uh, yeah, it should be nice and warm in here once we're ready to get going. But so here's as far as we've gotten last night. We got the upper control arms disconnected. These are actually really simple. You just gotta take this bolt out. Well, granted, so this car only has 30,000 miles on it, so everything on it has been really easy to work on. Nothing's been like seized or rusted or anything. But yeah, so you gotta take this bolt out. We didn't realize that. And we were able to pound one of them out with the bolt in. This is on the passenger side, and then once uh, once we were trying to fight the other one out, we were just like, okay, let's just get this bolt out. And as soon as we pulled the bolt out of the other one, it just fell out. So when we came on this side, we just took the whole bolt out, and they came out in like two seconds. It was super easy, just pounding it out from the bottom. As you can see, the top of these arms, they're uh, super clean. There's no rust or corrosion on them. We're going to grease those up before we slide them back in there, make it easy for the other one, or for the next job. And then uh, we got the sway bar and link disconnected. A lot of people just take the strut out of the post right here, but we, we decided against that just because that is a factory pressed in fit. To be honest, it'll probably be pretty easy just because of the low mileage, but we're already this far. We already disconnected it from the lower control arm and from the sway bar and link. So today we gotta get a spring compressor and we're gonna use the spring compressor inside the car. We're gonna put it in here, compress down the spring a little bit, and it should be enough to get us out of the tie rod, basically. That's all we need left to get out of there. If that doesn't work, we're gonna end up hitting it quits and have to take it out that way, but I don't think we will. And then, as far as other pointers go, getting the sensor out for a B9, they have adjustable dampening based off of this sensor. The sensor is actually really simple. I've never seen a video on it, though. You gotta take, here, where can I put this light? You gotta take this white cap and lift it up and it just kinda pops out. And then you have to sit and kinda wiggle it and pull up. Just make sure you're wiggling it straight or you will end up bending it. But honestly, it was really simple. Just you gotta wiggle it up, I guess not straight, but like parallel with the with the damper or the shock. And you gotta just kinda wiggle back and forth and pull up at the same time and then it'll eventually pop out. But yeah, those were sketchy. They're kind of expensive, so don't break them. Um, oh, also with this dampening sensor, uh, the customer did tell us that these are only an inch and a half drop, the lowering springs he has, and you, ha you that's as low as you can go to keep the dampening still functional on this car. So another thing to take note of, I haven't done research on it, I don't know if that's true or not, that's just what the customer told us. So yeah, fronts are basically done, we just got to get that thing out of there, compress the spring, get the top hat out put the new spring in and we'll be good. Wanted to give a good update because I haven't really been filming much. When it comes to like side jobs slash customer cars, I don't really like to film. I just want to keep going and get it done. So yeah, that's all the pointers I got. We're going to wait for John to get here and we're going to keep cruising out on it. Alrighty, we just got both the struts out there and there. What we did is we just put one spring compressor on when it was in the car and tightened it up just enough to get the fork of this mount out of the control arm and of the tie rod end. And now it's out. Now we just gotta get the other compressor and one of the springs. Give it even tension, good tension. Get the top hat off and swap the spring out. Come on, Johnny boy. Yeah, buddy. Yeah, buddy. Alright, we just got the spring up on the front strut. Pretty simple. We just had to compress the stock one. Take the top hat out. Um, you're supposed to have a special tool, but you could make a special tool with a vice grip and a 21 millimeter socket and then you put your triple square extended one I think it's a 10 mil triple square yeah it's 10 yeah and you slide that through here and then that's how you loosen it because you got a triple square at the top and then a nut around the bottom so just like that triple square through there 
get that off. Uh, we also got back to that too. Yeah, we did. <laughs> oh, you want pause the music? The rear was actually fairly simple. We just took that back bolt out there. We lined it up. Let me dim this a little. We, we marked where the uh, camber adjustment plates are and then took it out. It took us a while to pound the bolt out, but once we got that out, we had the jack underneath supporting it and then it just fell and the spring was out of tension. We just had to pry it out a little bit, put the new one in, bring it back up, put the bolt in. So rears are very simple. And yeah, now we just gotta put the front back together. It's been a while, so hopefully we got it. Yeah. <laughs> all right, oh, focus. We got the suspension all buttoned up. We need to just torque everything. John needs to pause his damn music. All right, whatever. Out of game! But yeah, we just gotta get everything torqued, but yeah, everything's all back up and together. Getting these uh, control arms in was a lot easier than I thought it was gonna be. Just greased them up, John ran the jack, and then I lined them up, shot the bolt in to lock them into place, and we're good, so. The yeah. rears were cake. Yeah, the rears were so easy. Once we figured out the other nice. side, this this was done in like, God, in like uh, 10 minutes. Yeah, it, it was, was so easy. One control arm bolt, dropped it down, and then pulled the spring out the back. Slid it back up, one bolt, done. Yep. Alrighty, the car is done. We just went and took it for a car wash. Something we kind of do, just a quick pay and spray. Um, didn't cover much on the downpipe just because we were trying to get done at a decent time last night, and so that would uh, that required not picking up the camera. But super cool car, really fun to work on. Now we're just taking pictures for the gram. Uh, owner's coming in like three minutes. We'll be good. So yeah, that concludes that video. So uh, yeah like and comment and do all that cool stuff and see you for the next one.